Yonya. Come on in. Yeah. We thought we'd do something different today um, for Woolly Wednesday, so here's our shop. Because I don't think we've ever shown you the shop, have we? No. Have we? No, no. We've never done it, have we? No, we've not done a proper tour. You've so, seen it in the background, but never. Yeah, so rather than us sitting down doing a, a normal Woolly Wednesday, we thought, well, let's show you the shop. So this is the shop. So you saw the front door, and I think, did you look at the window? Briefly, but it's so sunny out that it's, ah, it's quite... Well, well, look at it from behind. So, so we've got a massive window compared to a lot of shops in the street. Uh, which is great because it means we could do some nice window displays. So we've got the uh, Lavender and Blue, uh, which we talked about on a previous episode. So I've got that on show. It's beautiful. Isn't it great? I know. Everybody really was really raving nice. about how fabulous it was. It's some lovely comments. <laughs> I like Rob's comment as well. I'll I'll buy um, as a as a tourist. What did he say? I'll buy. I buy it whether Stuart has weed, weed on it or, it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there's our window. Uh, we also then have a window seat, which um, my mum did for me. Um, just got an old window seat or a toy box that she upcycled. <clears throat> so yep. people could sit on there. I seem to have gained loads of clutter, but that always does that. Um, and I can store yarn in it and we'll use it to show off stuff. But sometimes that's empty. Uh, what have I got at the moment? I've got this lovely, this is one of the cottons that we had in at the summer. That's fabulous. I love the colour. So if you show it the mm. the other way up on the side, you can see the colours as they change. It's fabulous. And uh, good old Mandy again has knitted up. That's how it knits up. Really clever. Isn't that fabulous? And you can also get the uh, the dress pattern. But this is organic cotton. And I know a lot of people have asked in the shop, they want specifically organic cotton. Uh, look at these pale blues, denims. Oh, great. Um, one ball projects, you can get the jumper, you can get a blanket out of it. So sometimes it's quite nice to have uh, little features here. Oh, this, can you remember Natasha that did our um, cushions? Yes, we have a cushion in the window that she's done. She's now trying knitting bags. So, you know, like sock knitters? Mandy would do with this, she would stand and knit. So you could have it on like that. Or like your bag, it's got the drawstring in as well. Oh, fabulous. If you wanted to, incredibly well made. And it's got local silk from the, the silk factory on the inside. We pick it up. So she's had a go at making those. Um, so these are great. We're gonna try all those, see how they go. Um, they so are fabulous, they're quite structured by comparison. Oh, very much so. Um, and the good old radio there. Of course. Do you know, as a shop, you have to pay rights to play music in the shop? And I want music in the shop, because there is nothing worse when you browse in those shops and yeah. there is no noise and you've got the, 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 the server assistant next to you. You just don't <laughs> want to browse, do you? No, you feel awkward. Yeah, and, really yeah. awkward. So um, the cheapest for us is a classic radio playing BBC Radio 1, 2, 3, Guess how much that is still? Oh, I dread to think. A couple of hundred? Yeah, <gasps> for a year. Oh, that's ridiculous. If you want to play Spotify or, or CD music or taped music, proper branded music, you have to pay even more, uh, five, six hundred pounds. Oh my good gravy. But, and I can understand, you need to give the, uh, the you know, the, the rights or the money to those people, because you are really entertaining, aren't you? Yes. You've got the music, but, aren't we're playing the radio so aren't the radio paying those rights in the first place yeah oh, don't know but so there's our radio there so that's pretty much our shop front path free parking in the village you can park chevron parking all outside the shop all the way down the road and up the road uh, i think long melford isn't it the 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 longest road high street village in the uk is it mm. that explains the name Long Melford, indeed. Yeah, long, long run, one long road. So, <coughs> let's look at the counter. We have so all yes, the you, things. So you come in and then you see our counter. Um, I had this built up nice and tall for me so I can cut fabric on it as well. But yeah, so there's the counter. So we have things. We have lots of little bits made here. Oh yeah, Jen made those. They're fab, I actually have Crochet some of those, them. yeah. Natural. We have some of these that we mentioned in the last. These are charm packets. Yeah, uh, charm packs. Yeah. Charm packs. Yeah. Close. 
Some local handmade cards. Oh, that's from Audrey. They're on fabulous. A Thursday Knitter Natter. Um, and did you see the, the cards by Dot as well, the embroidery cards? She's oh, local yes. too. We've had some class with her. So it is, yeah, all local. And you've got, oh, and these are jelly rolls. Yeah, jelly rolls. Two and a half inch. Tone on tone. Um, some yarn. This is really trendy at the moment. We talked about this, didn't we, a couple of episodes ago? Yes. Craft own... cotton, making your own flannels. Yes. Crocheting with. They're fabulous. <gasps> oh, and then this. These, oh, these are uh, shopel. Sh shopel yarn. Crazy zyber balls. Merino wool and nylon. So this is posh sock yarn. Oh, really posh, posh sock yarn. Or posh scarves. Oh my scarves, shawls. Shawls. Beautiful. I love the multicolour. Mm, so many colours. Uh, and it is it is designer, though the price tag on it makes it sort of it's like the, the, the Rolls Royce in the car world of, of yarn. Yeah. But they are just fabulous. So we tend to have little things there. Um here's the main counter. Yes. That's where you do your cutting. Counter. Yeah, so I can cut <laughs> This is I, where Stuart stands. I can cut fabric <laughs> there. And then I've got my computer, I've got the uh, TV showing other things that we've got, you know, if we have a queue of people. They can be entertained uh, looking at the deli. They just kind of make us look like a dentist, I feel. <laughs> um, but I've got my laptop and it's all on the laptop, my point of sale system, cloud-based, so that's great. I've got my printer and I've got my little gubbins down here. How about this for an effect, Ready? I'm just going to go down to the cellar. Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been um, practicing that Stuart <laughs> I should have done really shouldn't I um, and here's our wool wool we have so much okay how is this organized is it organized in a particular it is. when I first started um, it wasn't organized at all and I, that sort of kind of did my head in because I'm like if I'm going to a wool shop I want to buy four ply or yes. I want to buy Aran weight wool yes so I took the column so this is wonderful Ikea um, I've put extra shelves in the middle. You'll find some yarn shops will have these, most yarn shops will have these Ikea blocks, um, uh, but they won't have anything in the middle. And of course, when you put four balls of wool up, they all fall around and I couldn't yes. have that. It just wouldn't work. So um, a great carpenter put some holes in so I could put more shelves in. So now I can have pretty much two and two and it, and it maximizes the space because we can go right up to the top. Yes. So, four ply. All the way down there. Then double knit acrylic. Oh. And we've had this debate. We do have to have some acrylics. Not everyone has got loads of money. No. Um, so you need several price points. And not everybody can have 100% wool no, or no, like, because we have, I know Jen, for example, it struggles. She can't wear wool. It yeah, breaks right just, in a rash. Basically. Oh, right. Even more so. Yeah. So, but you have to be honest, um, acrylic, it doesn't pay the bills on you. No, I can't. I, I won't make enough money because yes, it's very cheap to buy a bag of 12 of those. But if it's cheap to buy, you're really che selling it cheaply still. You know, if, say if that was a quid. There's a minimal uh, margin. Uh, it, indeed. So then you have to then sell loads of it and that's just not going to happen. Mm. So I will keep a little acrylic um, and and for, uh, for those reasons that we've discussed. So they tend to come in more baby colours. Um, but then we've got more acrylic here uh, where we then get a few adult colours yes or, or non-stereotypes and again these catch my eye i love uh, the colour changing so these nice. would make those shawls like a yeah. virus shawl mm. or just oh. a jumper that just fades through and i like that king we have king cole is our main sort of non-wool acrylic company they are british and i like them i like what they do um and riot as it says riot of colour fabulous I love but I won't have much there are some wool shops that will have the whole range of riot but there's like 24 different colorways it's like you it wouldn't comes back space <laughs> well yeah and and but it also comes back to that issue of sometimes when you have too much choice you can't end up making a choice them. you don't buy anything these are interesting oh, what would these. you do with these right I get bamboozle in uh, because weavers love it because you have these thick slubs and then it goes into the thin slubs. 
So weavers will do beautiful stuff with that, with uh, like say you're doing a sky or a landscape. So actually I buy this for my weavers because my weavers have fallen in love with it. But you can do a nice snood. One yes. skein will do a nice simple snood. Oh, fabulous. Pretty good. Okay, so that's so our then acrylics. So then we have our DK acrylics. Then we have cottons. And I, this is really new. I've, uh, this is this season, this summer. Uh, sheep shears, uh, however you say it, something like that. Um, what was that? Sheep shears. Shears, something like that. Uh, and this is Katona. And I went for the dear little 25 gram balls. Look at that. They're so Compared cute. to 100 grams. See? Yeah. Um, because we have a lot of crocheters. We also have a lot of knitters that do those toys. You know the little toys? Yeah. Um, the nativity scene, for example. When you're knitting Mary and Joseph, and then the donkey, or the three <laughs> kings, you know, and you want purples and golds, you don't really want to spend four pound on a hundred gram of wool, ball of wool, and only yeah. use a little bit for a donkey. So you've got your whole nativity there. That's fabulous. For a quid 30 for a ball of wool. Um, so that's good. It hasn't got as quick as I'd liked, so I don't know whether I'll repeat that yeah. come Christmas. But that will be the tell. We haven't had a we haven't had a Christmas yet with this, so maybe that will all go out because everyone will be want to be doing uh, nativity scenes. Very much so. Middle no. patterns. I I'll, I like patterns really do well here. You could have loads and loads of patterns, and I go into some yarn shops, and they've got folders coming out their ears. Just too many in my coming mind. Coming out their what? Uh, their ears. Oh, literally. thank Fold. you. What did you think I said? I thought there was an R in front of that. <laughs> no, not out of their ears. Um, and a customer can come. Oh, baby's chunky. They can then come, and they can then put it on. They can browse, or they can sit on the window seat behind you. If they yes. wanted to. So they're single patterns, and then we'll have a range of books there not too many and then our new yarns will be in the middle you know like the the brand new in and I can yeah. change my little sort of blackboard here so you can see there's the bilingo that we've talked about yes. and the lovely jumper that, that, lovely that Jan had made um, the silky lace which we talked about last week oh these have done really well what are they oh look at the gradient in that <gasps> what would you do with that sure Fabulous. One ball project, cake, they call it. So that's a cake. Um, and you just start from the middle. <gasps> it's a massive meterage on there. There's a thousand meters. So that's, that's a, a really, them. really big shawl. So, uh, and I haven't got many left, so I will probably restock those. Yeah. Uh, because this brand is really popular. And and that will be the focal point. There's our lovely new Bonton. Remember that one? Again, another one that Mandy yes. admitted. Isn't that beautiful? And if I had a bigger shop, these would all be hanging or on loads of mannequins, but I don't. But do you know, there's something quite nice or informal about not having them all on mannequins because you can just pick them up and give them a squidge and have a look. So yeah. I kind of quite like that, even though it might look a bit messy. Every shop has to have a sale bin, don't they? Yep, it's in the rules. If I make a mistake, which sometimes happens and yarns don't sell, you've got to move them on you've got to get some money and yeah. ideally i just do half price i'm not you know faffing around with 20 percent off or 30 percent off mm -hmm. just get my money back for the yarn and yeah. then move on it means you've space for something Indeed. new Indeed, yeah uh then we go to the wools so here are dk wools so this is rowan they're beautiful felted tweed that's lovely um and what this also means is uh with a lot of companies I, I you meet their minimum order so with Rowan I went for felted tweed just to meet the minimum order and stock them but you don't have to stock all of their yarns so I can keep the catalogue and if a customer says they want a different Rowan I can show them the catalogue and I can order it for them so even though I don't have every Rowan on show I can still order it for them if they want yeah. I've got Rowan felted tweed and then my favorite bog standard double knit this is what I'm crocheting my blanket yeah, with. Yeah, Katia Merino. I love it. It's extra fine. It is washable, so it is a super wash. And I'll have all the colours. You have so many there. colours in this. Yeah. Really nice. Um, and it just looks nice on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, then beautiful drops. Very commercial. 
This uh, is what I'm making my jumper with. Yeah. Uh, 100 gram balls of wool, Peruvian wool, £2.20 a ball. Very cheap. Bargain. And if you like wool, still, you get the best of both worlds there. Um, it, again, it's talking about the, like the acrylic, you've got to sell a lot of that, but uh not many people will stock drops because of their rules of like you know 800 pound minimum order yeah uh so people travel to us just for drops so we have the drops double knit charisma and then we'll have the drops nepal which is the aaron weight oh is it the are uh, not no oh, which one do i have you do have that one uh, i think it's I think I'm out of stock of your one, actually. Yeah, I probably finished oh, no, off a chunk is. of it. Oh, there there's is. one left. Sure one. Yeah. Um, uh, and in Britain, we do our weights differently. We do double knit and we go Aaron and then we go... <gasps> is, it, is this something you're working on, Stuart? <gasps> Look, it's nearly done. It is looking <laughs> fabulous. <gasps> You've seemed to have both sides of the hood almost done. Yeah, so I'm so close. Look at it. It is beautiful. Look at that fit. How good oh. is that? So I'll move Mr. Hunk out of the way. Oh, sorry. I left the ball on the shelf, oh, right. just in case. Um, so, yeah, so we'll go double knit Aaron and Chunky. Uh, America will have double knit and worsted and Chunky. They won't actually use, they don't use the term Aaron. I think oh. they have worsted. I don't think they even actually have the term double knit, do you? American people, I'm sure. I've heard you of don't. worsted cotton, but not double knit. So I think I think it's just right. worsted. So yeah. worsted is a, a like here. It's not that because I think you can get light worsted and and heavy worsted. So just, Amer America is different. So yeah. worsted would actually be there. If you're in America, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, yes, because um, uh, call Miss uh, Craig, Mister Snake Hips, who's also doing this he's using drops and i think uh vincent on his pattern for the montreola says worsted mm. so that is a you know if worsted was there that's a perfect one to have so yeah so um so we go aaron weight so this is based on the um isle of aaron the the jumpers that were knitted on the isle of aaron back in you back know, in today so it's a nice thick weight, five mil needle. So we have a wool and then we have uh, a washable version, 100 gall, ball grams. And then there's our lovely Chunky. Chunky's really popular. Remember the Bajer? <gasps> yes. And our, our, one of our earlier videos of the uh, sleeved scarf. Oh, yes, that we yes. Did. And Chunky. A Chunky across the top and bits and pieces across the top. Sock yarn. So there's our wool wool. How cool is the wool wool? Yes. That's a nice big wall of Isn't wool. It? And then there's our fabric wool. So it's the same IKEA boxes, but I just turned them around the other way and took out the shelves and the, the bolts fit on there quite nicely, don't they? Yeah, they really do. So we have our solids at the bottom with uh, Moda Grunge, which is my favorite blender. Really good. And then whichever fabric so we've got Alison glass here and I'll try and cut half meter pre-cuts or half yard um, so customers can pick and go or they can say I'll have two meters off the bolt oh, yeah would be nice if they said that and then our feature fabric and I'll just draw on the front whatever one so we did that last episode didn't we yes we were showing off the new fabric yeah. list um, Regency Sussex and then Enchanted Lake. Oh, I love that collection. Yeah. And then your kids up above? Mm, kids. And then Spectacle. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. I loved the range. I fell in I love, love with it. it. I can't, <laughs> can't sell it for love nor money. I can't even really? sell it at £10 a metre. It's weird. I think it's a case of this one. I, it needs to be a shirt. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. I just don't think it works as patchwork. Uh, so it's more dressmaking type I fabric. think so, maybe. But there we are. Live and learn. Yeah. So, and then you come to the haberdashery. Small haberdashery. I haven't got space. But after a, a, you know, a couple of months, you soon realise actually you don't need 
every type of needle. No. So uh, I will sell the Zing knitting needles, which is Knit Pro. Uh, over in America, you call them, uh, they're called Knit Knitter's Pride. I don't know why they have two trade names for America and for Europe, but they mm. do. Bamboo, really popular. Really popular with um, knitters if they get um, arthritis. arthritis. Yes. Apparently the bamboo, I don't know what it is that it does. It's just nicer. And then our interchangeables will have the symphony range because the birch wood is beautiful. And then the higher hires, which I love. And then just, you know, small bits and pieces and the cottons. Ribbon and cotton. Mm. So that is the main shop. And then you just walk through and this is where we do our knit and natter. That's where we do the, the filming, the, the vlogs. Yeah. Uh, there's our, our table. That's where we would sit, wouldn't it, Anya? Yeah. And the camera would be there. So here is, I think, uh, what would you call it? The the heart of the shop? Yes, very much so, where people gather with cups of tea yeah. and... Every day, every day, every morning, we have social knit and natter. Five, six people, the same people every day, repeated every week. Isn't that so, fabulous? That is phenomenal. I've been seeing people... Well, I, this is coming up to the end of my third year. So I've been seeing, say, for example, uh, Rowena, Mary, um, Kathy on a Tuesday morning for the last three years. Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Um, and you get to know them, you get to know their family, hear all the chats um, and all sorts. So that's what happens here. Through there is the kitchen. Uh, so that's, that's where, where the I'll, magic happens. That's <laughs> where I'll make the tea and everything. And they sit um, and chill and chat and whatnot. So there's kind of a nice atmosphere when customers come into the shop. There is a little bit of shop stuff left over here. I've never really got fully to grips with this bit here. Um, it's obviously leftover collections that haven't completely sold out, um, but nearly have. Yes. Um, this is leftover bolts where it's no point keeping half a meter or a meter on the bolt, so I'll cut it up. So you've got like your rubbish vest, you've got your fat quarters there and you've got your half meters there. Yes. And, and some bundles from old collections, so it kind of works. And at the back we have... And the back, <laughs> a bit of a mess. But this is where, I, you know, I'll, I'll leave things. If we've got a class, this is where they'll be ironing. I will clear it up if there was a class. <laughs> like my this overlocker. Is... <gasps> it is yeah, fabulous. We talked using... about that in the last yeah. episode. Um, oh, look, there are my needles. Look, this is high, higher. They are beautiful. I love that case. <gasps> I'm sorry, but how fabulous. Yeah, these are, you know, we were saying before, like the Rolls Royce. Yes. Of, of cut in the car world well this is the, the same with the knitting world they are beautiful yeah. chinese sort of um engineering with the, the screwing there and and of the of the the cables so, so it yeah it doesn't ever flip over it's wonderful yeah sometimes this turns into my dumping ground but you know it's the the bits that work there and the patterns and you seem to have started a project there as well there's What's that? Your squares, there's yes, some Yes, I'm, I'm doing a, you know, we were talking about the five inch charm packs. Yes. So this is halfway through growing. It's ah. got to go a lot higher. Oh, so I've got it upside down. <laughs> um, that will be a lovely charm pack project. And I've got to do some pom poms for a lady. I've got to save that for Hillary and, um, you know, all so these it's, things. Look, oh, it's yeah. your project space. Hmm? It's your project space. Yeah, indeed. Or by the end of the week, it might turn into the dumping ground like that up there. Yeah. But you know what? That's what makes the shop look kind of homely in a way. If it's, it's too It's neat. in use. Mm. It's fabulous. So look, there's our shop. Anything else? Oh, look, look. Nice customer painted a picture of the front of the shop. How cool is that? Oh, that's fab. Wonderful. And uh, we've got some little things here. Oh, look, there's a cushion there. Look. Kerry made those things too. You know, I'm so truly, truly humbled that people make things and uh, and, I, and I try not to cover them up. It's just uh, sometimes you, you need a bit more space. But yeah, so that's the shop, the shop that we always talk about and we update you on and our vlogs. Yes. Um, um, without you lot, you know, the shop wouldn't wouldn't exist. And it's you that makes the shop work, and we love doing it, don't we? Yes. And you love coming here. Filming. Gives me an excuse to come in and have the chat. Yeah. It's perfect. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour around the shop. I did. <laughs> Just something different. And uh, 
keep following us on YouTube, keep subscribing, spread the word. We want to try and get more followers. It's just nice to share what everyone is making, what projects you're doing, like the Montreal, which will soon be finished. And on you, you'll soon finish yours, won't you? Yes, very close. We tried it on today. Oh, I hope that And we'll see you um, back to normal when we sit down next to each other for another Woolly Wednesday. Yes. Bye. Bye.